当我们来谈全球暖化的时刻，我们现在人在巴黎，作为一个企业，你能做什么？巴黎这次提倡的是不只是政府的角色，企业的角色。建筑者的角色，按照现在非常多的每一栋建筑，其实就是很大的温室气体跟碳的排放。所以巴黎在这一次 COP21 里头有一个非常大的重点，这个重点不是像上一次哥本哈根大会告诉你世界上即将有一百个消失的地方，他告诉你你可以做什么，你必须行动。其中之一就是节能建筑，请看我们的记者。李瑞玉、陆念琴，来自于巴黎 COP21 的报道。这座中世纪以来历史最悠久的城市，巴黎市政府在都市计划上一直严守禁令。像是限制建筑物高度不得超过三十七米的法规，虽然在二零一一年勉强放松至五十公尺。这些年，巴黎旧建物更新率依旧偏低，仅仅只有一两个百分点。于是，该怎么对建筑物进行能源管理？成了巴黎市政府因应节能减碳的首要课题。这天，我们前往巴黎市郊，拜访全球最大的能源管理公司之一，同时号称最能优化解决方案的法国施耐德电机。近两百年历史的公司，用一栋楼面向未来，也教育所有巴黎民众。Elle est située à Weimar Maison en France et c'est le siège international pour le groupe Schneider Electric. Le bâtiment a une surface de 35 000 m carrés et nous avons aujourd'hui 1800 personnes qui travaillent dans ce site. Minwei Hive, 当初是以蜂巢自比，这是蜜蜂的工作场域，也像家一样的感觉。施耐德最初在二零零九年将十个散落在外的办公室集中。并设计电力管理系统，全程远端监控。换句话说，无论白天晚上阴晴下雨，谁用电用了多少，一百五十个智慧仪表时时刻刻会将大数据传送到管理者面前。At home, you have a bill every month in France. It's the accuracy you have on your consumption. Your accuracy is one month, but you don't know what you consume in a week, what you consume at night, what you consume during the day. So you are a bit blind. You don't know really why your cons your consumption is five percent more uh, from June to uh, July, for example. You can imagine it's maybe air conditioning, it's maybe light, but I don't know. So it's based first on measurement. So what we really uh, say that it's first equipped with measurement system, then check what you consume really, analyze, and then control in a better way. 他们原本相信，多数人用电浪费都是基于无意识的坏习惯。只要经由自动控制系统感应身上配挂的识别证，就能立即得知屋内人数，提供适当的空调照明。而这样的设计也确实曾让施耐德整体的建筑耗能量，从二零零九年开始，短短四年间大幅缩减四分之一。但随即进入长达两年的停滞期。Ninety percent of the building control is automated, so the air conditioning, the lights, and so on. But if you'd like, you can switch off by yourself. When you leave the room, you have just one button. You switch off the air conditioning, you switch off the blinds, and you save ten or fifteen minutes of light and air conditioning. This is the strategy and the philosophy we have here. 观念翻转，如同再掀一场革命。当初秉持科技始终来自人性的想法设计，如今却发现人类人类天生就会反抗科技。When you come in a building, okay, you try to do that. You set up. You say, I will put the temperature at this level and so on. And if people are against you, it doesn't work. Okay, so it's really important to take it reverse. Say, how do people behave? How I can adapt? Which resources I have, also, 
the, the team who operates the building. Is this team uh, skilled? Uh, if not, I have to change their mind also to say, oh, your job is first to make the people comfortable and check what you can do with the minimum of energy. Rather than say, well, first switch off the heat and the air conditioning and after we'll see. This, is, this doesn't work for a building. Buildings in France, it's 40% of the energy consumption. So, and there is many, many uh, energy savings to do. There is a big potential of energy savings. We estimate that we can reduce by about 30% the global consumption of our building in France. It, re it represents billions of euros. 目前在法国正流行，且不必翻天覆地的拆房子改装。施耐德电机在Hive进行实验，并向外推广，正一路从巴黎延伸至全球一百多个城市国家。